perhaps one of the most basic questions uh, about the whole intersex thing is how do you find out about being intersex and what is it like i mean there are many different uh, intersex conditions of course so it's definitely not going to be the same for everyone but for me personally it was weird i guess because you grow up in an environment in which intersex is is not a thing you don't know anyone who is intersex you don't know that you are intersex you just grow up as this person that you think you are you have really confusing puberty you're like well okay maybe maybe that's just the way it is okay um then supposedly puberty is over with and you start noticing things and asking questions and you feel weird about things and and it, the most confusing i guess the the most confusing part really was that you start off not knowing that intersex is a thing even though you are intersex for me that was at least uh, the thing that really threw me for a loop if, to the point where as a young adult you end up um, basically confused about everything you basically I, I'm not even sure how to describe it exactly it's how it felt um, I definitely did not really know how to look at myself I did not really understand um, what was going on I, I had been told from a young age okay you are you're a boy you're male you grow up puberty you go through these and these and these things and all those things happen and those feelings are normal and a few other things can happen but in the end you will be a guy you'll be the, a man an adult, adult adult male and that's going to be your future then puberty happens or should have happened kind of did and it just raised lots of questions And do you find that um, this whole thing about being male, like, I, I came to a point where you think about, or you reflect upon your situation with all the confusion that's going on, and you start asking yourself questions like, hey, uh, do I see myself as male or female? Do I feel male or female? Those questions, because even though you don't know about this intersex thing, you know about this transgender thing, you've heard about it, of course, because it's everywhere. So you're like, maybe that's, what, that's what's going on with me. Maybe that's what the problem is. Like, uh, I was just born in the wrong body, and so that's where you start. You start um, searching on the internet, looking at things checking up on Wikipedia and then you stumble over some articles on Wikipedia and other websites related about this thing called intersex when you realize that hey biological sex is not necessarily this pure binary thing you are one or the other and um, your genetic makeup doesn't necessarily directly correspond to your uh, phenotype say so outward appearance that's those are interesting things that you then learn about and then you start looking at yourself in more detail 
and that's at least for me when a lot of things began to fall uh, just began to make sense uh, lots of small details things um i remember looking at myself in the in the mirror so much back then just trying to make sense of what i saw trying to um, and also getting the measuring tape and you know just doing all the things just trying okay what what is this body because you i, th I think the 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 mean thing is that at least in modern society you grow up in a society where you're only told about men and women, male and female body type. And if you are marked as being male or female at birth, that's simply what you are. Of course, you can have surgery and whatever to pretend that you're no longer that's what you're born as. But you like it's it's this this inescapable facts or. That's how they, how they teach you. Had all of those confusing moments growing up, especially during uh, puberty, where people just couldn't uh, make sense of, are you a boy? Are you a girl? Are you a man? Are you a woman? You keep getting asked those questions. You, you walk into a public uh, toilet and uh, you nearly get kicked out of it by a cleaning lady because uh, it's like, uh, hey, um, this is uh, this is the gents' toilet. Please uh, go to the other one, ma'am. Or being asked to uh, whether that girl in the back during um, class photo shoots can come back to the back to the front because you're not that uh, that tall. And that was me, and it was supposed to be male. And you have this constant, this is this churn of confusion and not knowing and leading up to that point. Where is that asking the right questions? Where you find the right information? Where you find the right keywords? Because finding out that, hey, this intersect thing and the many intersect conditions that exist when you start, um, you finally get access to that world, when you get those keywords, the information, and you can actually start searching and um, diving probably too deep into developmental biology and other fun related topics, um, and technology and whatnot, <laughs> just try to make sense of the whole thing. That's um, pretty amazing when you when you reach that point but um, I think the, the the feeling that's really was a big a really strong feeling I had when I learned about that was the realization that basically my life as I thought I had um, I'd known it the life I thought I was living the person I thought I was that that was basically all a lie, because my body was never was never never male. I mean, it's not even really female. It's kind of this this both in between thing. Um, finally got an MRI scan a couple of years after finding out about uh, having those uh, strong suspicions about being intersex, getting uh, getting an MRI scan, getting confirmed. Hey, congratulations. Um, you're a hermaphrodite, so um, probably uh, I am the combination of a male and female uh, zygote merging during development, basically twin in one. I am my own twin brother and twin sister, and somehow a functioning body came out of that, which turns out to be mostly um, female. Of course, because you get uh, the, the male and female uh, chromosomes and all the triggers and everything just kind of fighting against each other. Um, the re reproductive system is kind of a mess. It's, it's basically just, uh, yeah, that would still take quite a few years 
to uh, to get some some understanding of how that uh, all works. Still don't know everything, but um, if I have any regrets, if there's anything I wish that would have uh, would have been different, it's definitely that um, my parents, my environment, the people around me when I was a child, that they would have known about this little thing called intersex. That's, I could have grown up knowing already about this. And ideally also in a society where being intersex is just normal and accepted. Because, I mean, it's not something you choose. I mean, you don't choose whether you're male or female. That happens. It's just, you know, chance. <laughs> and similarly, um, being intersex, that also just happens. It's uh, depending on the exact condition. It's this one chance occurrence. It's this one happenstance. It's this one um, genetic thing, like with uh, androgen insensitivity syndrome for example where basically okay you've got y you've got y chromosomes in your cells but um well there's this one defective or semi-defective gene so yeah your body just continues <laughs> being female as a, as a as a developing embryo so yeah it happens it's it's life it's nature it's just how things work life isn't uh, binary life isn't black and white there is this whole diversity um because developmental biology is super complicated you have all those triggers all of those events that have to happen exactly in the right order the right time the right strength everything has to be just right to get to that one point and sure there are a couple of um yeah ways that your um, that some some other things can be uh dealt with compensated for but in the end um like the, the the basic structure of your body that doesn't that it doesn't differ between being male or female I mean, we both, we all got the same uh, basic structure and the same, uh, same I uh, <laughs> mirrored. So, all got got a heart on the left side. We all got two lungs. We all got uh, got two kidneys. You know, everything is the same. So the the essence doesn't change. It's just the sex chromosomes that are different, and there are a few things that are different there, but. It doesn't change you as a person, doesn't change anything other than, well, uh, slightly different uh, endocrine system. You know, you got more or less of certain hormones and, um, well, it determines um, which reproductive organs you have or don't and possibility that they are, um, that you are fertile and not. That's also somewhere in this whole chance uh, system. That's also how I found out that uh, I'm actually not fertile as uh, male or female. Mm. Happens. It was just not a never chance that it was going to uh, to be a thing because um, it, neither side uh, developed uh, to a point where that was uh, going to be happening. So, but I don't mind. I mean, in the end, I know that I have a healthy body, but I mean, I don't even have any allergies or anything like that. Uh, hay fever, nothing like that. Um, food allergies, nothing. So uh, no medical conditions, nothing that I have to be afraid of. And in that regard, I'm really grateful that my body is different. That's... Um, that I have a reproductive system or systems, <laughs> depending on your perspective, that 
that is somewhat unusual. It's like, okay. I mean, I wish I had known about it b before so that I could have uh, uh, just grown up knowing about it and um, that would have been nice. And it was worth more acceptance now, but I don't mind being intersex because it, you just you just are. It's kind of like, do you mind being male or female? I mean, that is your body. Like, it, it doesn't change you as a person. It doesn't change um, fundamentally what and we are. So, uh, but, but did it really change for me? Nothing except that uh, it suddenly a lot of things began to make sense because finally I understood why in the world people were, were so confused all the time about my appearance. Because to them, they always, especially to strangers, they always saw a woman. They saw a girl. They never saw a boy. They never saw a man. Because that's never what my body was. And that is something which uh, is fundamental to you as a person. It is... Uh, I mean, it is part of you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and not having the confusion and not having this, uh, yeah, how do you put it? Because I mentioned that it's the idea of it being a lie, the, li the life uh, you lived before. And do I still feel that um, it is that I lived a lie back then? In some ways, yes, because the a lot of things uh, like some during puberty, some issues I was struggling with. There were things that uh, that are the genealogical issues, like you have a period, you have um, the problem, just female troubles. That is a part of you and that is simply something you have, that's something you have to deal with um, and not knowing about that, but still suffering through um, the pains and discomfort and not knowing what it's about. That's not nice. So for me at least, and finding out those intersex, uh, I found out about it way too late, realistically. Still glad I did, and I do hope that um, I can make a difference in helping, informing prospective parents, current parents, new parents, and also uh, children growing up that there is such a thing as intersex, and if there is someone in your environment or maybe you're intersex that you get to learn about its existence as soon as possible. Because the sooner you know, the sooner you can make it part of yourself. And that is probably the most important thing because it's it's part of you. Because it's it, it is your body. So and that is something that is really important that you learn about it, come to terms with it, and manage to, to find a place for it. So, anyway, until the next time.